Am I the only one who finds it strange that the decorations here are little naked people? Such an uptight little man. I guess helping to run a castle is kind of stressful, huh? Why, hello there. You looking for the wedding, little one? You're a little lost if you are. Oh, hello. No, no, I'm not lost, just having a look around. <laughs> Curious little thing, aren't you? Well, my name's Cindy, but I'm afraid you won't find much down here. Just a bunch of soot and unfinished clothes. That's okay. And my name's Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Anna. I'd best get back to my work. But you just let me know if there's anything you need. No wonder this room is so hot and muggy. Ugh. I think it's some kind of promotional poster for joining the Royal Army. But what's something like that doing down here? Wow, Cindy is so talented. These are all so beautiful. That's quite a lot of work left to do. Poor Cindy. All sorts of bits and bobs for sewing in there. These are really dirty and sooty looking. It could be used for anything. Shoveling coal, finding buried treasure, who knows? bother you, Cindy. Not at all, Anna. What can I help you with? These dresses are really pretty. Are these for the wedding? Well, aren't you just the sweetest for saying so? Yes, that they are. The reception has already begun, though, and there's still so many left to be tailored. Oh. Do you think... Is it possible for me to borrow a dress? Oh, I'd love to, Anna, but... Well, these garments are all reserved by guests of the wedding, I'm afraid. Will you be going to the wedding, Cindy? Oh, Anna, aren't you truly the sweetest thing? But no, I'm a servant here, you see. And between you and me, I've snuck out before to attend a ball, and... It's not really my kind of thing. You mean, you prefer being a servant down here? Well, it's an improvement, but no. No, my heart belongs somewhere else entirely, sad to say. But you needn't worry about that. Let's discuss something else, shall we? I think I have an idea of where you prefer to be. I'm thinking you have that poster on the wall for a reason, don't you? Indeed. The Knight of the Queen. That's my true calling. You'd be a great knight, Cindy. The ones I've met have been a little... lacking. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Lacking in having an open mind, too, sadly. I went to an information night and they laughed me out the door. Called it a man's job. People like things to stay as they are, I guess. Just like me and sewing. Oh, but listen to me prattle on. You're not prattling. Who cares about a bunch of dumb boys? If they laugh, you should just walk straight on in, right past them, and become a knight anyway. You... You're right. You're absolutely right, Anna. You know what? Maybe I will do just that. Yay! Oh, but, well, I can't just up and leave all these dresses right before the wedding. It'll have to wait for now. Oh, yeah. Right. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> no, I don't think so, dearest. Not unless you have some kind of magic spell to make me work faster. This ball you attended, did something bad happen? You could say that. I only went because I was offered a dress and shoes, and so I figured why not. Next thing I know, I was being proposed to by some prince before I even knew his name. Oh my! But then, you don't have the dress and shoes still? Oh, no. I had to give the dress back, I'm afraid. And the shoes? Well, both are missing, actually. I couldn't get away from the prince fast enough and dropped a shoe somewhere in my escape. The other, I'm not sure. I couldn't find it. It should be somewhere in the castle, though. Oh, but 
You said they were offered to you? By who? Oh, well, that's a secret. Promise you won't tell another soul, Anna. Pinky promise. The great old tree in the royal garden. Inside it lives a special kind of spirit. Ooh, wow. One day I was sitting under it, minding my own business, and almost as a jest, I wistfully asked, Shiver and quiver, my little tree. Silver and gold throw down over me. And just like that, she appeared, with a gown and shoes for me, no less. That's incredible. A dress-giving tree spirit, huh? I better get going. Thanks, Cindy. No trouble at all. See you around, Anna. Um, Cindy? May I please borrow just a little bit of yarn? Such polite manners. Of course you can, Anna. Be my guest. Not really anything to see down that way. I think it's just the bedrooms for all the servants. Aw, oh, jeez. No, I don't want to. It's only making my tummy rumble. Oh, that smell. It's gravy. I'm starting to realize how hungry I've become. I imagine it's pretty good for cutting things. I'll keep that in mind. Do you think I could borrow this for a little bit? Sure! I'll just let a child carry around a knife as big as her head. Hmm. Can I use it at the table then if I need to? Hmm. You planning on helping me with all the wedding food? Uh... Ah, uh, sure, fine, whatever. Isn't having ingredients like that on the floor a bit... unclean? Are you the health inspector now? Oh, uh... No? Do you think you could leave my kitchen now? Fresh, ripe, round, red, and delicious. Probably. Not like the cook will ever let me know for myself. Bunch of gross leftover veggie bits. Doesn't look like they've been emptied out for quite some time. Usually a green, goopy dish would put me off, but I'm even hungry enough to eat this. Grandpa uses deep pans like this when he puts a big roast in it, but there's nothing in it to roast. Aw, what a pretty little bird. How sweet. Tweetily, tweet, tweet. That's my pretty little bird. Don't you be getting any ideas now. Maybe it's just me, but I get the feeling she doesn't like me being around here too much. Whatever gave you that idea? Hello there. Hi. What? What is it? What do you want? What? Slop. Uh, sorry. Slop? Slop. Well... At least you're honest, I guess. I would be cooking proper food still if we didn't run dry of all our meat. Wedding dish this, wedding dish that. Sure, I'll cook it all with my imaginary ingredients. Now I'm just mixing vegetables. This is no way to eat at a wedding. Actually, I've read that you can have quite a healthy, balanced diet if you only eat. Oh, so you're the cook now, are ya? Wanna take over? No, no. That's okay. Keep up the good work. That's a pretty little bird you have there. That's my pretty little bird. Don't you be getting any ideas now. Was given to me specially by Queen Yannicka. Said it would help me feel more relaxed. Oh, how sweet of her. Did it work? You tell me. Oh, uh, hmm... Sorry to bother you. Not as sorry as I am. Ugh, oh, you again. I hope you've come to tell me you have the correct attire now. Do you happen to know anything about Yannicka's disappearance? Oh, sh no, shh. 
Just, no, no, no. Um, are you okay? Do you need some water or something? You are the one in need. In need of some restraint. But no, I know nothing. And you should be smart and stop asking about her from now on. Oh. Oh. She's trying to make everyone forget Yannicka? Indeed. But how could we ever? Such grace, such kindness, gone too soon. Where have all the paintings gone? It looks like there used to be a bunch in here, but now there's none. It was by order of the new queen to be, if you must know. They were taken and locked away. It was all a part of an effort to come to terms with the tragic departure of Her Highness. It seems more like she wants to replace her completely. What's she got against Yannicka, anyway? <coughs> Huff, scoff! You'll have us both detained at this rate. My goodness, in any case, who could ever replace our beloved queen? Impossible! Okay, I better go get my flower girl stuff then, huh? Post haste, girl! Enough of this nonsensical dilly-dallying. There's a wedding to be held. 